Okay, now I've played a number of times through all the scenarios before. None of them really impress me. But, to be fair, one is significantly different from the rest. So the next scenario that we would have played is Rescue. This is just like, uh, like uh, Search. Except, once you find the person, you gotta walk them off the map. Uh, you're not just airlifted out of there. I think the uh, tables are a little better in terms of movement and the food and water are still kind of harsh. Now we've been seeing that these can get you killed Let's uh, without the houses. If the houses are in play, if food and water is more plentiful, uh, the game becomes a lot easier. We didn't see that yet. What we are going to do instead, rescue, I just don't see the worth in playing it, but I think it's unfair not to play pursue. Pursue is significantly different. One or two, if you're playing in four of the players, is an escaped prisoner who's run into the, who's trying to escape from wherever the prison is, and he's in the wilderness right now. And he's got to get off the board because this prison is somewhere hidden in the wilderness, like all prisons are. Uh, the other player is going to be a guard. And the escapee, and we'll give it the gray guy, who's perfectly healthy and just has wandered out and found his way out here, is sitting here in this cabin. But he's run out of food, so he's got to make his way out of here. The guard is going to be a 1, 2, 3, or 4, which are the bases right near him. He's got to kind of decide which way to drive the opponent. What makes the most sense? I'm going to take three. Policeman should be wearing blue, and the prisoner is, of course, in his Confederate gray. Uh, he's a prisoner of war. <laughs> um, now, the guard also gets to throw three blank counters on the board as outposts. These are placed randomly on the board at the guard's option. Again, I assume that's not really randomly. The guard gets to place his outpost where he wants to. The guard will get his food and uh, water needs any turn he passes through or lands on outposts. They count as, as cabins for him, essentially. Uh, the escapee has to leave the board. The guard has to enter the space of the escapee. The directional chart is going to be uh, random, starting in the direction with a turn, full movement necessary. And we've got different charts for the guard and for the runner. Looks to me like the guard's got the better chart. The second one is straight line only. But you get to choose the direction. And the third one is you pick a direction and you can make one direction change as required. For necessities, it's like most of these scenarios, everything but lost. You're not a complete imbecile here. Uh, if you move through food, you get food. If you move through water, you get water. You can also wait three turns to get three food or three turns to get one water step. Pretty much the same as what we've seen in a lot of these, although some of them have some variants. Um, so I get to put three of these down in places where I think I may need food and water. Well, in the middle of the desert sounds like a good place. That's a hard place to find stuff. Uh, I'm on this side, so I'm kind of thinking I would like He might make a break this way. I'm going to put this down here and one down here. Although actually there's food and water there. There's plenty of food and water near there. I'll put another one over here. Are these likely to be, you know, where I end up going? Probably not, because now the prisoner knows where they are and he may move differently. But the prisoner doesn't get to control his movement completely, right? So let's take a shot at this one. Uh, must move in a straight line only, no direction change. I'd love to get through here, but that's not going to happen. 
two, four, six. At least I found food. Well, two, three, four, five, six. I found water instead. And a random event. Nope. And now our policeman. He gets to go pretty much, what, one movement, one direction change. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, look, the game's over. <laughs> Well, that was cool. All right, well, that was the quickest one and the only victory I've ever seen in this game. No, uh, that may be the only victory I've seen in a game with uh, without the houses. Okay, so I totally missed whatever might have happened there. Kind of exciting, you know, hunting the guy down through a man. <laughs> nah, he just walked out in the open. I walked up to him and shot him. Uh, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> I just, I do not want to, I don't want to try again. There's so much luck in the movement and everything in this game. I think it's a fitting ending. At least the prisoner's dead. All right, up this one goes.